Hey, hey, it's Berta J. The much requested coconut bacon is what I'll make today. Starts with coconut, starts with coconut. And what you want to get is shredded, not, not shredded, but flaked coconut. This is the one we're going to use today. I got it from Whole Foods and it's called Let's Do Organic. The flakes are really big. When I originally started working on the coconut bacon, this has been a while ago, I used Bob Red Mills. The flakes are really, really small. This is what they look like compared to these. And the amount of baking that you have to do, this will, Bob Red Mills will burn a little bit quicker and get done a little bit, way faster than the Let's Do Organic. And this is what we're gonna do today. All right, first thing, you measure out a cup and a half of the flaked coconut and put it in a bowl, set it aside. Then to a bowl, you're gonna add one tablespoon of, I use reduced sodium tamari, pour it in the bowl. Then a teaspoon of liquid smoke, a half a teaspoon of smoked paprika, one and a half teaspoons of maple syrup, and then a smidgen of both black pepper and salt. It's not much, but it definitely makes a difference in the taste. This is vegetable broth. The Seitenbacher that I use for powder and it's just mixed in water, made it easier for me to, to do my recipe every time I did this. So we're gonna measure out a fourth of a cup or it's four tablespoons, so one, two, three, and four. Everything is in the bowl now. You can mix it all together. Pour it over the cup and a half of flaked coconut. Make sure you get everything out of the, the bowl that you mixed it in. Now take a spoon and make sure it's coated. Everything is coated. Just stir it up really well. And it looks really loose and you wonder how in the world is this gonna turn into something that reminds me of bacon. Well, you'll see. You're gonna put it on a parchment line baking sheet. You're gonna just pour it on here. Now it's gonna be really wet. It will be really wet. And just make sure that it's in a, like a single, not in a, a pile, but that you make sure you spread it out evenly. And when you put it in a preheated 350 degree oven, you will do that for nine minutes. Now the first nine minutes is just gonna be cooking, but then after those nine minutes up, are up, you're gonna do it for another nine minutes. And that's when it starts to really turn into bacon. Okay, so most of the liquid's gone, and now I'm gonna put it into a 350 degree preheated oven. That's what it should look like, nice and spread out like this. When the baking's all done, after your 18 minutes, this is what it'll look like. You do with this bacon the same thing, you use it the same way you would use regular bacon. Sandwiches, wraps, on top of beans. And so today, what I wanna do is make a sandwich the way I like to make it is with half of a, half of a pita bread, a whole wheat, whole grain, whole wheat pita bread. And we're gonna make a, what I call a BLT plus. We'll start with my cashew mayo. So here we go, we're gonna build the BLT. First we're gonna put on the B, that's what it looks like now. You spread it out. This is the T, tomatoes. These are Campari tomatoes, those small tomatoes that I really love using. I'll wait for the L because I want to put on a C. And this is just shredded carrot. From my latest video, you've seen those, this is the caramelized onion. I'm gonna put those on. And then, finally, you're gonna pile on your L. 
And this is my BLT sandwich. Now I could, if I wanted to, eat very politely, not cut it. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna cut it, I'm just gonna pick it up and I'm just gonna bite it right in the center because I know it's good. Mm, mm, mm. That is so good. I just wanted to taste because the bacon's all hidden under there. I want to taste a couple pieces. It's really good. I let my husband taste it. And he said, it tastes like something you could put in a, in a, in a bag of, like a bag of chips or popcorn, and you could just keep eating it. So <laughs> let me know what you think. It reminds me of bacon with the spices that I chose. And I wanted to say that this recipe was adapted from a website that I found, cookieandcates.com. Uh, they have a, they also have a blog, but they have lots of recipes and I really enjoy them. So that's where this basically came from, but I changed it uh, a bit and um, I find that it really does taste good. So you may find yourself doing exactly that. But I wanna also say the last thing, after you make this and you pull it out of the oven, let it rest because the longer you let it rest, the crispier it gets. It, it will get crispier. Um, and I think that's it. I have to last my little mouthful. Put that over there before I eat it all. You wanted the coconut bacon. Now you have it. You can make sandwiches with it, like I said. And just enjoy it, okay? And don't forget to leave me some comments or questions below. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Click on the bell so that every time we upload a new video, you'll get the notification. Thank you so much for joining me in my kitchen today. I appreciate you guys so much and all your comments. Until next time, bye for now. Mm -hmm.